everyone, it's Miss Stylins, the speech therapist over at Westwood Hills and Berkeley Glen Elementary School. Thank you so much for stopping by our YouTube channel and watching our videos with us. I miss you guys all so terribly much and I hope you guys are staying safe and doing well at home. On this YouTube channel, you're gonna be seeing some of our speech therapists doing a lot of fun activities like reading books, doing some cooking recipes, playing games, just to try to help you and your family maintain their current speech and language skills at home. So today we are going to be reading a book called The Rainbow Fish. And the target that we're gonna work on today is answering questions. So remember, when we're reading a book and we are answering the questions, if we have a who question, we're talking about a person. If we have a where question, we're talking about the place. If we have a when question, we're talking about the time. And a what question might be something that you might be able to hold. Sometimes we might have a how question, like how do they feel? So we're gonna be looking for some feelings words, like happy, sad, or scared. So let's go ahead and let's get started reading our book, The Rainbow Fish. The Rainbow Fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. So the first question we're gonna ask is, where did the fish live? Did he live in the ocean? Did he live in the forest? Where did he live? Our next question is going to be, who was the most beautiful fish in the ocean? Was it rainbow fish or was it a rainbow guppy? So remember, look at the pictures to help you figure out what the answer might be. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him rainbow fish. Come on, rainbow fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the rainbow fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. So what did the rainbow fish's scales look like? Were they shiny or were they just white? Our next question, which fish asked rainbow fish for a shiny scale? Was it the colorful fish or was it the little fish? And how do you think the rainbow fish felt when the blue fish asked for a scale? Let's look at his face to help us figure out how he might feel. Is he feeling happy? Do we see a smile? Or is he feeling maybe a little grumpy, a little mad? One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried Rainbow Fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the Rainbow Fish. They turned away whenever he swam by. What good were the dazzling shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the ocean. One day he poured out all his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anyone like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to the deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. So who did the rainbow fish talk to? Did the rainbow fish talk to the starfish first or the octopus first? Look at the pictures to help you figure out what the answer is. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. 
So where did the octopus live? Did he live in a fishbowl or did he live in a cave? Where did he live? I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves had told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. So what did the octopus tell Rainbow Fish to do? Did he tell him to give a scale to the others or keep all of his scales? I can't, the Rainbow Fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales, Never. How could I ever be my happy self without them? Suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. So did rainbow fish gave little fish a scale? Yes or no? The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he had he at last felt at home among the other fish. So how did the rainbow fish feel after giving away all of his scales? Did he feel happy or did he feel sad? Let's look at his face to help us figure out how the rainbow fish felt. Is rainbow fish smiling? Is he happy? Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he felt very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. So how many scales did the rainbow fish have left? Did Rainbow Fish have one scale left or three scales left? Let's count. Thank you guys so much for reading The Rainbow Fish. I hope you guys really enjoyed reading through this story and answering the questions. Stay tuned because we're gonna be doing a lot of different other activities with The Rainbow Fish. Um, we could be working on describing what The Rainbow Fish looks like, telling the order of the events that happened in the story. So what happened first, second, and third. We could be working on yesterday words, today words, tomorrow words. So stay tuned as we go through and work on some different activities with the rainbow fish. I hope you guys had a great time.